So I'm doing the things that I should have done, I tried to do early on, but I was under so much pressure to make a living and to be the provider that I forgot about the things that are the most important in my life, and that was my family. Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Bruce B. Baird, and you're listening to the Productive Dentist Podcast. In this podcast, I will give you everything that I've learned over the last 40 years in dentistry, working with thousands of dentists. I'll tell you, it's not that my way is the only way. It's just one that has worked extremely well for me, and and I'd love to share that with you. So you too can enjoy the choices and lifestyle that productivity allows. More time for things you love, increased pay, better team relationships, and lowered stress. Let's get into it with this week's episode of the Productive Dentist Podcast. Hi, this is Dr. Bruce Baird with the Productive Dentist Podcast, and this is episode 106. In the previous episode, I was talking about, well, uh, some of the more difficult conversations that are had in, in dentistry, and it's not in dentistry, but in life. And it was about uh, dentistry and divorce. Uh, I shared a little bit about, you know, my story and and how divorce has divorce has changed changed the direction of my life in a couple of different times. I've been through I've been through divorce uh, twice, and you know, for any of you out there that and and there's so many out there that you get into as a dentist, you start. For instance, lecturing or teaching. You're, you're teaching other dentists. And I was told this years ago, if you want to be a great teacher, find something you love to do, become the best at it there is, and then teach others to do it the way you've done it. And, then, and that's really been what I've tried to accomplish and what I've tried to do over the last really 35 years. And uh, and I shared with with you a little bit about some of the things that happened, you know, I I would come home, I'd be so tired. I would just be like, okay, you know, as far as intimate intimacy, okay. Yeah. But I was tired. And I mean, I'd be completely exhausted after a 15 hour day, 18 hour day. And you feel like, and again, I can only speak from the man's side of this. Uh, If you're a female dentist, you know, I, I, I'm sure someone out there is going to grab the mantle here and, 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 uh, help dentists from that perspective too. I I just can't do that because I don't have that experience. But what I will say is I wish I would have known today what I, what I would know, known then what I know today. What I mean by that is you can be productive in fewer hours. You can have it all. You can have time with family and time in the dental chair uh, working on patients. And they're not mutually exclusive. Um, And so, you know, that's what we teach at Productive Dentist Academy. We teach you how to increase your productivity. And if you choose to decrease the amount of time you work, uh, then what you'll find is you do have time for family. Uh, I I mentioned love and respect. You know, women need love and men need respect. And it's something there's a great book on. I challenge you to download it, Love and Respect, uh, on Amazon. And and just read it because it made a big difference in in my life after reading it because I went wow didn't didn't read this one when I first got married when I was 21 years old and was married for 20 years I got married a second time to a team member that was part of the team why because they showed me amazing respect more than I got at home so I thought well this is great I mean they get me. Unfortunately, within a very short period of time, I knew I had made a major mistake. And uh, even though I cared about the person, I just knew that it was just not uh, the direction I wanted to go. And seven seven years later, after being married 20 years, seven years later, and being divorced for five years in between times, I uh, I knew I was going to be divorced again. And it was going to, it was going to eat my heart muscle, my stomach lining and, uh, and you know, you want respect, but you start to lose respect for yourself at some point. And that, that drives you further and deeper into a, into a, uh, in a place where I just really don't want you to go, if at all possible. Like I say, if you don't show love, person will find love somewhere. They don't show you respect, you'll, you'll find respect somewhere. 
but I challenge you to do something different. You know, I challenge you to be productive, learn to be productive. And I see this a lot with the millennials, the new, new students that I've been teaching. You know, when given a choice of working more and making more money or having more time and making more money, they, they almost always take the time and money. And I respect that a lot uh, from a lot of my new students. But this is still a tough conversation. And, you know, if, if, uh, if so I, what I want you to do is, is I want you to, to think, think about your marriage, if you're married, or think about your significant other, and make a concerted effort. Um, I have a friend, a really good friend, who is out, t- you know, talking about, you know, all these things that you can do to make your life better. But yet, um, yesterday I, I'd heard that, you know, that individual never goes to, uh, to any of the kids' ball games, never does any of that stuff. Well, you know, you can't speak one way, you can't teach one way and live another way. You know, that's, that's not authentic. And I, I'm very authentic when it comes to this because I've now been married 10 years to my third wife, who is absolutely the love of my life. And, uh, I have every day, I don't just say, I love you, but I try to do things that, that she knows I love, I love her. And no matter what that is, let me run to the bank for you. Let me go do that. Uh, and I also learned to be productive in less time, more productive in less time, how to really increase my productivity to massive levels. And have three days, three three regular work days a week off. I work two days a week for fifteen years. I, I I'm so proud to say that today I have an amazing relationship with all of my daughters. I also have an amazing relationship with uh, my stepson and stepdaughter. I love to see them. They're I I just and now I have thirteen grandkids. And I'm spending time tonight. I'm going to go caddy for my oldest grandson. So I'm doing the things that I should have done. I tried to do early on, but I was under so much pressure to make a living and to be the provider that I forgot about the things that are the most important in my life. And that was my family. You know, I I didn't necessarily, we can all go back to how we grew up and all those things. And and we we've, we've seen. Oh, lots of difficult stories about growing up. You know, my dad taught me a lot. He taught me about hard work. He taught me about, um, you know, to do things, you know, the best you can do and be the best you can and do it right the first time and so many things. But maybe on the other side of the house, showing love maybe wasn't one of those uh, to my mom. And I saw my mom. You know, and, and you just, you, you, you are part of your history, okay? But you don't have to repeat that history. And so I, I challenge you to kind of change your thought process just for a little bit as you listen to this podcast, because I am, uh, I'm very confident in, in what I'm talking about now. You know, it, you woulda, coulda, wish I could have done it different. I don't wish it was different today. Because life is better than it's ever been. But I think I could have helped a lot more people. I think my own girls, my family would have loved it if I would have been there more. And that's through two marriages. And then once you're divorced, I re- remember again, now you become dad, that you are required if you want to have anything to do with your family, previous family, you're required or you want to see them on weekends. And so now you're planning the Chuck E. Cheese parties. You're planning the, you know, the, the things that your, your kids are doing. And I have so much love and respect for some of my friends that have been married for 30 years, 35 years. But you know what? I see that. I see that male. I see that man. I see him doing things with the kids, taking them on vacations, going places and doing things. And I see them showing love to their wife in a way that uh, I, I didn't do. So if you're if you're struggling, if you're going through difficult times, and early in practice, I can tell you it's difficult. It's not easy to be a dentist, but it's not easy to be a mother at home with kids when 
when the husband's gone all day long and then you come home and, and you're in love, but you, you, you want to give them a hug and you want to kiss them and whatever. And the kids want to see daddy. I remember my girls running out when I got home pretty much any time before it was bedtime. And they go, hey, dad, you know, and it was a, it was a, I had a great life. I just didn't know how to sustain that life. And there were things that I needed to do that I didn't do. And, uh, and so if you're in that situation now, I, I just really challenge you. Uh, and it's not too late. And I don't think it's ever too late. I really don't. Um, but I've learned through my marriage now that she shows me such respect. She, you know, she, she tells me how, you know, what an amazing dad I am. Gosh, you know, I love that. You know, what an amazing dentist. What an amazing friend. What an amazing, it doesn't matter, you know, that respect. And I'm showing her love like I didn't show uh, in my previous marriages. And so if, if you can do it in your first marriage, you're going to have a good heart and you're going to have good stomach lining and you're going to have a good self-respect. You're going to feel like uh, you're somebody who um, is doing really what God wants us to do. You know, I don't think God wants us to get divorced and go through these things, but it does happen. And I was on the phone yesterday with a really close friend who's going through this. Um, but I can tell you, uh, of all the lectures and teachers I know out there, uh, I, was at a, I was at a talk years ago. And there was a guy there, and the top speakers in the country were up in front of us talking about implants. And he gave me a little little note of wisdom. He said, look up there, Bruce. He said, every single one of those men up there have been divorced. Don't be that person. And I said, oh, I won't. And 10 years later, I was divorced. 10 years after that, I was divorced again. I heard the message. But I just didn't know how to how to deal with it. So just from this one aspect, love and respect, you know, if you're at home, just show that respect. You know, show that respect to, to the man when he comes home from work or vice versa. You know, uh, when when she comes home and again, I'm talking out of my, out of my league, and out of my lane, but show how much love you have for her and, and, and how amazing it is. And if you're the female coming home, show how much you respect what they do. Because I promise you there, there are opportunities here that can change the direction of your life. Again, I wouldn't change anything that's happened in my life. Uh, looking back, because I've got four amazing daughters and I've got uh, 13 amazing grandkids, I wouldn't change anything. But I wish I would have I wish it would have been different. I wish I would have known things. And don't we all, aren't we all that way? Wish we would have known uh, then what we know now. But this is one thing. It's a tough conversation. I, I wanted to, to, to put it out there. Because when you find someone else, there's no guarantee. <laughs> it's you're still the same person. And you still, if you're a, a, a dentist and you're not showing love at home, the next one's not going to work either. It's not going to work until you learn what that is. And so uh, anyway, this was a tough, this was two tough podcasts for me to share. But I, I felt, I just felt drawn to, to share it with you because of, I go through this conversation with friends probably once a month. You know, what should I do, Bruce? I know you were divorced. I know, how do you do it? Well, I, I'd love to tell people before they got to that point. And so, uh, Anyway, I love you guys, and and I, you know, I really pray that uh, the, these two podcasts have been something that speak to you. I, I really, um, you know, I love marriage. I love being married, but I love being married uh, when it's working the way it's supposed to be working. And if you if yours isn't, and read books, get counseling, go go learn from other people. Do everything you can because I promise you it's worth it. I promise you it'll be worth it for you. So I'm signing off for today. Um, please tell your friends. Tell uh, tell people about our podcast. Uh, obviously, it's not just dentistry. Uh, I'm going to continue to go in and delve into the teams and all the things that we always talk about. 
but this was one that I just felt the need to, to share. So let me know, Bruce at ProductiveDentist.com, if you have any questions. If something pops up, I'll, I'll give you any resources that I have that could help you in the future. So, all right. Love you guys. See you next week. If you're losing sleep over your business and feel like you're already overloaded, but know your business needs attention, you just don't know how, when, or where to start, you're not alone. The reality is many dentists are overworking themselves, yet their practices are still struggling to be as productive as they should be. This is not sustainable, and there is a better way. That's why PDA has developed a transformative new program, Business Impact Foundations to get you above the daily chaos and propel your business into an investment grade practice. Using easy to implement proven methods combined with a unique learning atmosphere, you can activate a strategic growth plan in just 60 days. If you want to clarify your vision, align your team and elevate the health of your community like never before, call us right now at 1-800-757-6077, extension 8, or head over to ProductiveDentist.com slash foundations to secure your spot. We have two sessions left this year and each program is limited to only 20 doctors. Just for our listeners, use the code 2021IMPACT, that's 2021IMPACT, all one word, for $700 off your tuition. Thank you for joining me for this episode of the Productive Dentist Podcast. If you found this episode helpful, make sure you subscribe, pass it along to a friend, give us a like on iTunes and Spotify, or drop me an email at podcast at ProductiveDentist.com. Don't forget to check out other podcasts from the Productive Dentist Academy at ProductiveDentistPodcast.com. Join me again next week for another episode of the Productive Dentist Podcast.